not getting played on the radio, this might be a reason why. Hey guys, it's Jade. I'm here with another tip and trick. So a lot of times when you're submitting things to radio, they'll ask you to send in a CD, or if you're doing it digitally, they often ask for MP3s. Now, it's not just for small file sakes because they have a thousand emails that come in with tons and tons of songs. It's also because MP3s carry some important data. When you send in the CD, they can have the physical CD they can see the tracks, the title names, um, your band name, the spelling, uh, maybe some credits, everything that you include in that CD package. Um, but if you're just sending in something digital, a lot of times I'll get an email that says, here's your song, and it'll just have the song. Um, sometimes the file, as I've talked about with file names before, sometimes you download the file that they send and it just says, Demo Mix 3 Revision 2 and you're like what even band is this when it gets lost in your heap of media but mp3s are really good because they're easy to send small file size but also you can encode data into them now it's not that hard it takes a little bit of practice I'll link uh, down below in the comments um, this article I read that tells you exactly how to do it really easy and you should do this with all your tracks when you're sending things. Once again, have your files ready for when you send them. Um, but this, you can include the artist name, uh, the track title, um, the album, a whole bunch of data that's really useful for radio people uh, when they're doing, th because when they play things on the radio, they don't just willy nilly play it unless there's some ragtag or indie or even a web radio. For real radio, they have to log every song, you know, so they have a big log of who got played, uh, so they can send it into their various things, whether they need grants or for the companies that are running them, who knows. But so everything is categorized, uh, cataloged, um, so they need that information. And if you just send in, here's our new track, where the so and so's, and there might not be a not enough information. And it, truthfully, if they get people that send in with all the right information, they'll probably just choose them instead. So it might be one of the reasons why when you're filling out all these, you know, web submission forms to send in your music, even when you hit it, uh, even when you hit send and you have your music link included uh, to download your album, it might still not be getting played. Um, it just might be one of the reasons why. There's a whole bunch of other reasons, you know, but I'll get into those in other videos. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just definitely check out the link below to put names on your MP3s to encode all the data that's needed. You know, hopefully you learn something and you can do it so we can hear your tracks on the radio I will see you guys later please check out the rest of our channel um, also check out all the other things we do like all our interviews all that kind of good stuff like that as well as our twitch all our social medias all that kind of good stuff we're going to be live streaming some concerts it's gonna be good times so i hope you guys enjoy hit that subscribe button uh, and that bell to be notified when we upload even more videos i'll see you guys later bye hey guys it's jade thanks for checking out the video uh you can subscribe over here as well as check out some more of our cool videos um and please you know uh thanks for supporting us that helps us support uh, local and independent musicians all over the world. Uh, this is really cool, and I think you guys are awesome. See you guys later. Bye.